All lowering springs worth getting. Well, today I'm going to find out. I'm finally lowering the E91, and as you can see, it definitely needs these springs. I would like to get coilovers, but unfortunately, I'm tighter than a duck's arse. So I've gone for these second hand lowering springs. They're Volkland performance ones. Um, they're only two to three months old, and it's 40 mil on the front and 20 mil on the back. And as you can see, they're, they're very desperately needed. I mean, look at that arch cap. It's bigger than Kim Kardashian's ego. So I'm gonna pop these on, I'll show you what I'm doing, and then afterwards, we'll see how much it lowers it by, see how much better it is, and I'll take it for a drive and see how the handling has changed. I'll also show you the difference in body roll around a few corners. First things first. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. I mean that would be nice, mate. That would be very nice. Ow. That wasn't very clever of me. So we've got one side in. Shiny. Onto the front. They want in line. And that's 67 will fit straight in this one, it. That's how you do it. So we're back again after a hard day's wrenching yesterday. We finally got here. A few less knuckles and a few swear words later, but the springs are on. We noticed a few pros and cons along the way, so I'll be going through those. The good first, it looks mint. It's pretty low. I don't know if this classes me as a stance boy now. You'll have to let me know. But that arch gap doesn't really exist anymore. I'll try and do the shoe test, but I don't think I'm fitting my shoe in there. The other pro is the handling. It's transformed how this car drives. I, the body roll is significantly reduced. I go into corners with more speed, and I can hold the speed through the corners. Just 10 out of 10, way more grip, so that is great. So, for the cons. As we were doing it, we found out pretty much all of my dampers are shagged. My front top mounts are shagged. My bump stops are in about nine pieces and the rubber that sits on the bottom of the rear damper doesn't really exist anymore. So in a future video, I'll definitely be doing all that and I can give you a better consensus on how the springs feel on working suspension. But for me, I went to work today, went over some savage speed bumps and there was a lot of scrapage. So it's a bit too low for me, but you deal with these things. For me, car. <laughs> So the clip on the left is before the lowering springs and the clip on the right is after. As you can see, there's way less body roll and I actually went in with more speed after I installed them. So, is it worth it? It's hard to tell on my car because all my suspension is pretty shagged, but 
if you're wanting a lower ride, better handling, then this is definitely a cheap way to do it. I got these springs second hand for about 90 quid. They were only used for like two or three months, so they looked they, they look pretty much brand new, to be honest. Like I say, it's a bit low for me because it's not as functional as it was, but after I do a future video changing all the shocks, we'll see if that changes it at all. So if you want to keep up with this build, I'll be doing LSD, maybe upgrade to coilovers, poly bushes, bit more power, all the good stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, um, if you want to see this car getting hooned about in the wet, doing a lot of skids, there's a video, I'll put it up here or at the end of the video. Check on that, subscribe, peace.